Business owners often say they can't move from one IT provider to another because they're worried about it being disruptive. Moving providers shouldn't be difficult. If it's done properly, there should be no disruption. In fact, there should only be benefits seen by the business and the users. It's important that the new provider follows these steps as a minimum. Step 1. Permissions letter. This documents the member of staff at the new provider who will be the main contact along with their contact details. This letter is then provided to the incumbent to authorise them to provide the requested details to the new provider. If you've chosen the right IT provider, completion of this step allows you to step back and leave the transfer to them. Step 2. Contacting the incumbent. The new provider contacts the outgoing provider to introduce themselves and to also inform them of the steps they're going to be taking in the transfer process. For example, sending them a document requesting key infrastructure information. Step 3. Infrastructure audit. A very important task and one that the provider should be expert in. This is probably the first time the new provider has seen the detail of your infrastructure. They will be looking at and documenting all aspects of your systems. Often the provider will use software tools to gather the detail for them. Step 4. Documentation. Now I'm not talking about pieces of paper that get filed, put on a shelf, become out of date and gather dust. Documentation should be held in a secure online specialist system because this will ensure that all engineers have access to the same data. It's one central place for updates. And it's also very efficient, enabling fast support on tickets that you may raise. Step 5. Communication. Communication needs to be approached on two levels. Firstly, to staff within the new provider's business. As a minimum, this needs to include who you are and what industry you're in. Any special arrangements that have been agreed. What challenges you've previously had with IT. Agreed service levels. Accounting information. What your infrastructure looks like. The second key piece of communication is with your staff. This is something that goes to every member of staff in your business and will include such things as a brief introduction into the new provider and how they will support each member of staff. How to raise tickets. Contact details, for example, phone, web portal, email address. And how to escalate an issue. Step 6. System changes. This is work that goes on behind the scenes and your provider will be doing things such as installing remote monitoring software, changing passwords that the old provider would have known, enhancing your security, creating an account for all users in the ticketing software. One last important point is to ask your new provider to take you through their documented onboarding process. You should see something that is very thorough and is clearly documented. In summary, if the new provider knows what they're doing, there should be no disruption. Thanks for watching.